Once you consume the food, it takes some time to break down into glucose. That glucose then goes in the blood, and then the blood then moves glucose into this compartment around the cells, which is called the interstitial fluid. And now we're starting to see the direct impact of just consuming probably a fifth of the amount of carbohydrates I should consume from a superfood. Um, this, you know, oranges are considered both a citrus and a fruit, and this is considered like a superfood by the American Diabetes Association. Uh, in the context of diabetes. So when the glucose spike is high, so you've just eaten some oranges, the spike is going up. Yeah. What does someone feel? And then what do they feel when it's then crashes down and goes below? Because it started at about 100. So yep. I imagine that it's going to go up to whatever it goes up to. Yep. And then it's not going to drop back down to 100. It's going to drop below 100, typically, in a, in a normal um, non-diabetic person, right? So 100's right around the uh, normal. So what you'd hope would happen is that you're going to go up just a little bit, insulin's going to respond quickly, and they're going to come back down to normal if you have total 